You haven't fooled me. Right guys, so today it is pressing day. We are gonna do some behind the neck press. We got our new jerk blocks that we're gonna test out and see see how good they are. You know, it's gonna be better than just taking out the rack and having to redo our grip when we've got Where did we get them from? Neck. Midifit. We're gonna go see how that is. So today it's just uh, six singles at 170 for Masah. I think it's, I don't know if it's the same for- 500. Yeah, 500 for Luke. So um, we're just gonna do that, then some other accessories after that, and then job done. Because we are six weeks- From World's Strongest Man. Are you excited? I am. Behind the neck press. It could be an event in World's Strongest Man. We don't know, because it's all unofficial. Our mobility coach told us to do it, so that's why we're doing it. Wait till you see the mobility in our shoulders. We are amazing at behind the neck press. Or are we just... Right, that, in that case, let's go. Portrait. Okay. What's up, guys? <laughs> right, guys, so this event we're doing today is behind the neck press. As you can see, Midafit have kindly given us some jerk blocks. I think that's what they're called. They're a bit... Lotus now, so we've added two bit of fit mats. We were doing this out the rack, so we couldn't get our hands where we wanted them. We had them here, and when we took them out the rack, we had to, you know, get them right, right wide. So at least here, you know, still a bit low, but you can get it up. You can get your hands exactly where you want them. You ready? Press. Drop. Magic. That's how you do a behind the neck press. For the next lesson, please visit. No one. Can you break down your workout for today, bro? Right, so starting with the behind the neck press, six sing singles at 170 kilograms. And then we are doing dumbbell press, one set for five reps. Then I'm doing flat dumbbell press. Uh, like one, two sets of 10 to 12, then tricep push downs and then planks to finish. So like I said, after the binding neck press, it's nice and easy, so we're gonna just cruise it like a bruising. We're gonna put our car in cruise control and cruise. Hope you guys will like this one. This is our new one that we've, that's never been seen on YouTube before, so give it some love, give it some lightness, and just give it some spicy flavor to it. Stay spicy. Whose take down is the best? Eh? Uh, so controlled and so elegant. Who? You have a take down. You're like when you drop it. <laughs> Look at that. Perfect each time. What's going to be the hardest thing about this? Pressing it. Pressing no, it. it's it's just a new... Oh, excuse me. That's mine. What? Underbelt. No, it's not. I took out my bag and left it there. That's yours in the floor. It's not yours in the floor. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> I looked, I said to you, is that mine? I went, yeah. Sorry guys, my mistake. So the hardest part. Um, it's more, it's like an Olympic lift. So, people that have got that kind of technique, so the split jerk, push jerk, um, will do well with this. You know, pretty explosive, but it just needs a little bit more work on um, technique and stuff. These men have uh, jerk blocks are class, but we just need to get a little bit higher up. Um, that's why we're using the, the mirror fit pads just to drop it on. But yeah, it should be decent. Um, it's just that mobility and the more heavier we go, the kind of better I think it'll go. <laughs> Belt was coming off there, so strong. I'm gonna do one at a time.
We're now going on to our working sets, we're going to start at about 160, we've got 6 singles, 160 then we'll do 170 for a couple of sets, 180, might have a little tickle, a little bit more, we'll see, see how the old mobility is feeling, I just blew my nose. I don't know about this event, it's kind of, I don't know, it's weird, I don't feel overly excited about it to be honest, but it's what they've unofficially uh, said, or that's what we've heard anyway, unofficially. Your staple strongman list for me is more all press, dumbbell, axle press, but yeah, I guess change is as good as the next. It feels okay, it feels quite snappy, just need to just be 100% confident in the technique, which is getting there. And just making sure you hold it for that split second above your head, so you're getting a good, good down signal, so. I think there could be some big numbers pressed in this one actually. Tom and I will do pretty well in this one. So yeah, just keep plodding away. One, two, buckle on my shoe. Three, four, knock on the door. Five, six, one, two. Doesn't make sense bro. I did my first single at 160, then I'm going to do the rest of mine at 170. Similar program. You're doing the same weight over and over, you get more fatigued and fatigued and fatigued, so I think it's just going to make me stronger as well. I need to, I want to make sure my technique's right and the explosiveness is there, so this week I'll just do the 170 weight, and maybe next week we'll push it, you know, to me 190 plus or something, but it's feeling good. Two left. to make sure my wrist and hand is right in place. So that's that exercise done. Luke's moving on to strict press. I'm doing dumbbell press, so let's do it. Behind the neck press, so it went okay. I don't know why it's tricky. It's just you need to bring that aggression with it. And the aggression for me isn't quite there as of yet, but um, I think over the next few weeks it'll really get there. So it was up to 180. 180 felt really comfortable. As Tom says, we'll probably push it 200 plus quite soon, I think. 
um, we'll go for that and then yeah, see how it goes. It's not a normal event at Worlds obviously but it'll be a fun event. Um, it's a new one or it's an old one come back so I love log because Luke loves log. I think I've done enough Max logs in the last little while. So we'll just see. There still might be a log press in, in Worlds. We've just got to keep ticking over. So I'm working uh, repetitions on that. It's, it looks like with everyone doing it, you know, it's, it's a Max Max press. So with that, with the th thinking behind that, there wouldn't be two Max pressing events. So go for Max in this and then repetitions for log. Tom is doing some dumbbell work. So Tom's incorporating his dumbbell press, one arm dumbbell press into his training now, just to keep that consistency up, I think so which I think is really good, really smart. We are looking to tra change our training, aren't we, Tom, a little bit. We're going to do some event stuff on Wednesday. So we're going to throw in truck pool, some loading. What are you going to use? You don't have a truck. Um, we'll either use the Mirafit sled or my pickup and um, do that. Or the best of both, you do the pickup, you put the sled in the back of it and put loads of weights on it. And you make it hard. Or we could do the, tie the pickup to the sled tie the rope to the truck, truck and then <laughs> so do a double pull so you're not ever breaking that inertia, that momentum so that might be quite cool. Um, wow, did I just make up a new uh, way of training truck pull? You're welcome guys. I mean I think. I'm keeping this in my programme because, you know, it's my weakness and I think that means then if I do a competition that's got dumbbell in it, I can just progress quickly. Um, I know a few comps after Worlds have got dumbbell in it, so I'm keeping it in. Dumbbell's feeling good, not thinking about it, just pressing it, which is the main thing. Everything's feeling spicy, everything's feeling good. And here's a message for everybody. And still, dot, 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 dot. Thank you, guys. What? You don't understand it, it's fine. Right. Don't stop when Worlds Stars Man 2022. Fat. Fat. It's a fat. <laughs> fat. Uh, when 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 guinea pigs are born, they can walk yeah. and eat like normal f humans. Uh. Unbelievable checkers that is. Tommy fat. Behind the neck push press, we use the all mirror fit stuff. So it's mirror fit plates, combination of bumper plates and calibrated plates. And then we use the mirror fit barbell on the mirror fit pads on the mirror fit jerk blocks. So huge shout out to mirror fit for sending that up. Um, looking forward to continuing the training off the jerk box and also using their new, I think it's Behemoth deadlift bar it's called. So their deadlift bar, that was one of the best deadlift bars I've ever pulled on. So looking forward to getting that and really smashing deadlifts on that. So thank you very much to all the team at Mirafit. Because I didn't breathe. Got to breathe. Money, money, breathe. It's a fabulous song. Next up is dumbbell, flat dumbbell uh, press. Get a little pump on because we're pressing twice a week now because we're still doing log press with events. So the shoulders take quite a bit of a battering. So it's nice to split them up. So today's Tuesday, press day Tuesday, and then Friday we also do uh, shoulders as well. So yeah, it makes sense to have a few days between just to rest up and recuperate. Uh, what's happening guys, so just a quick update to let you know what's going on. So at the moment, Harry has moved out into his new merchandise room or area. Uh, Tom and I are moving into the new offices, so we will be doing a little tour in upcoming weeks. 
I also just bought a Polaroid camera which is pretty cool so anyone that comes up and visit us we're going to be doing like little Polaroid, photo, Polaroid photos stick them up on the wall, any fan mail, any letters we're going to also put that up on the wall so that's pretty cool so just a busy busy time in the Stolten Strength Centre HQ we've also got some new designs in, new merchandise is going well uh, and the new website is also up and running, the Apex Collective, so check that out please. Um, so training, uh, at the moment, yeah, really ramping up the training, um, obviously we've got the prep for World's Strongest Man, so that's going really well. Um, really excited just to smash that, keep the intensity up. Event sessions on Fridays are extremely brutal at the moment which is good um, but it's nice to have the Saturday and Sunday off so I'm copying a few different things into the training which you guys will see in the upcoming video so stay tuned for that behind the neck press you've just seen that's a little bit naughty as we've said uh, but yeah everything seems to be going forward everything's progressing very nicely in the prep for World's Strongest Man 2022 pressing session done Tuesday um, is finished all our main compounds finished up so Behind the neck press, strict press for me, Tom the dumbbell, finished off in some dumbbells, uh, flat dumbbells, and then we've just got some accessories to do, get a little pump on, um, and that's Tuesday done. We will then go home, eat, we have rain energy up with us, so we've got some filming to do with them later on tonight, that'll be pretty cool. Um, then we'll do some hot and cold, and chill, you're going to see Ross. Hopefully if Ross is up there. If Ross is up from California Sports Clinic. Um, then Tom will get some physio. Tomorrow is, like I said, we've got some additional stuff to do tomorrow, so that'll be cool. And take it from there, guys. So hope you enjoyed the video. Short but sweet. Stay safe, smile, and stay spicy. And please, guys, don't forget to ring that little bell. Ding, 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 ding